everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a few months, it's been a minute. With the new year here, I wanted to switch some things up, maybe try something different on this channel and see if you guys will like it, maybe bring in a new audience. For those of you who don't know, I am a UX designer and if you don't know what that is, look it up. I don't wanna explain it, but I used to do graphic design and so with my graphic design skills, I wanted to see if I could make some graphic design videos and put them on my channel here. So today's gonna to be pretty basic. I'm gonna teach you how to create a logo. It's gonna be very simple. As I design the logo in this video today, I will kind of expand on my process and how I kind of go about my design work. So let's dive in and I will show you how you can make your very own logo. Let's do it. All right. so. This is an idea I got from TikTok. Yes, I'll admit it. I got the idea from TikTok, but guess what? Us creators, we sometimes don't come up with all of our stuff on our own. So mostly all the time. So anyways, this is step number one. Essentially, when you have the idea in your mind, you want to come straight to your notebook and start jotting down some ideas. So this, this one is going to be for a company called Deathbed. And I think Deathbed, you know, honestly, I'm just making this up. This is a fake company. So I think Deathbed is gonna be um, maybe like a street clothing wear or maybe like, I don't know, beard oil, something. Something like that, it doesn't really matter. So once again, I'm kind of showing you my process. I saw a TikTok of a guy who had the word Deathbed tattooed on his wrist. And essentially what it means is if you're ever mad, if you're ever embarrassed or annoyed with something, if if you think about that that moment or that, that thing that made you mad and you're on your deathbed, doesn't matter. If it doesn't, then it's not worth it. Throw it away. Anyways, I hope that made sense, but um, it kind of hit me and I was like, oh, actually I have a pretty good idea. So the best thing to do is just honestly start sketching. I'm not the best artist, but at least this helps me get my idea out. And do not judge me for my drawing skills because I know they're bad. My little sister is the best at it, but yeah, she's definitely the artist in the family. What I've done here is I'm creating a design. It's a wordmark logo, but adding a little bit of illustration as well. Just a little skull, just for fun. Uh, like some, maybe some grass or something. So it says deathbed. Instead of doing one word, I decided to split it up and do deathbed just like that. Yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, once again, this is for fun. Uh, if you are new to design, I honestly recommend that you just go ahead and just work, jot down, write down, sketch down all the ideas you have in your notepad. All right, I'm gonna take this over to Adobe Illustrator now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, vectorize this thing out. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I've just uploaded the image um, that I took from my notebook from that sketch. I uploaded it into Adobe Illustrator, like you can see here. Um, I went ahead and named this the deathbed file. So anyways, um, if you're curious, the artboard is 1080 by 1080 pixels. Honestly, it doesn't matter because we're gonna vectorize it, which means we can uh, enlarge it, minimize it as much as you want and won't pixelate. Um, that's, that's the fun part about working with vectors because you essentially can do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this right here. So we have a clean one to work off of, but I'm gonna lock this layer I'm on the layers panel on the right, you can just hit that little um, open space right here and it will lock the file. Okay, so deathbed, I essentially just wanted some type. Um, if I want, I could copy over this with like the pen tool, but that would be very tedious, very annoying. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go with, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and layer it like that. I'm gonna enlarge it a bunch. this we're gonna kind of minimize this box just so it's less annoying and that's a personal thing for me I sometimes think it's just way too annoying um, having those big boxes so um, I want it to be all caps yep just like that um, you know sometimes you can never go wrong with Helvetica like Helvetica bold I feel like Helvetica is just like a solid typeface to go with um, it's probably not the one I'm gonna choose but let's just see how it looks I'm Currently minimizing the uh, the space between the letter or the words, excuse me. Yeah, let's do let's go a little bit more. That's like back to what it was. Okay. Um, <clears throat> essentially, I want to leave enough space for our little 
coffin there. If you can tell, that's that's a coffin, just by the way. Duplicate it, switch over to bold. Make the artboard bigger, see I'm moving. I love working in Illustrator mostly because it just has, <clears throat> there's just a lot that you can play with. Um, it's just gonna be a good time. Well, better, okay, okay, there we go. So now I have that my like my fonts open and I don't actually have a lot of fonts open. Okay, so you can see all the different kinds. Um, I actually kind of like an oblique, or excuse me, like an italic. Ooh, like that looks good. See, that would be kind of kind of cool. You know what, let's work with it. I kind of dig it. Okay, so now that we have some options chosen out, I decided to go with this one right here. Once again, this is just for the video, so I would usually go through multiple different kinds of typefaces, not just choose one and be okay with it. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go with this uh, here, Helvetica New Medium Italic. I'm gonna duplicate it just in case we wanna go back, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn the type into a vector object. So if you go to type, create outlines, you'll see it is now a vector. So if I wanted to like double click on it, it's no longer a typeface, it is one vector. So stretch it out, work with it. Okay, so let's now go to our little coffin here. I think if we take the, oh man, we can take this right here, this paint brush. And you see how it's like not as, it's not as straight, you can kind of make all these different shapes and everything. I think we could do something kind of fun with that. Um, I, to make it easier to see, I'm gonna make the color yellow. There you go. So instead of having very straight lines, why don't we just go ahead and do some like kind of artistic style lines. So let's go to our paint brushes. Um, we have a huge brush gallery to choose from, but um, once again, this is not the computer I usually use, so we will try something else. Artistic paintbrush, let's go with this one. Let's see what happens when we use it. Okay, so it's a little big. We're gonna cut it down to 25. Try it again. Yeah, uh, oh, it's still at one. Hold on one sec, let's see. I'm gonna cut that down to 25, okay. Paintbrush. And uh, obviously this is easier if you use one of those pens. I'm just using a mouse pad for now because I'm just being lazy. Um, but honestly, I should be because this is actually kind of annoying. Don't judge me, this is all for fun. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, some people might love it, some people might hate it. So we're just switching up. We're just having some fun today. Okay, and then we wanna get that grass. So don't forget the grass. Yeah, look at that dig this yellow not gonna lie okay so we're gonna grab this right here once again this layer is locked so it won't be uh, it won't be selected we're gonna group it bring this baby in over oh that's what happened okay guys this is called <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call this a happy accident because honestly it, it was look actually look at this this like stroke that's going on because of the paintbrush it's actually pretty neat that is really cool. Okay, that's awesome. We're actually gonna keep that. I kind of dig this yellow, honestly. All right, so we're gonna maximize this baby. Oh, actually, before I do that, sorry, I'm gonna back up. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these lines. I don't know if you can see, but see how they're just line vectors? Um, if you stretch something, it can actually alter what you've already done with line work. So I'm going to make those into a, a stroke, and so, what that'll do is you'll see that it outlined the stroke, which now makes it like a vector object. So now I can move this around and distort it any way I'd like. So let's do it real quick. I'm gonna group it too. So if I click on one part of it, everything else will be grouped. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this a little bit here, but this part I'm going to turn that to be back to be kind of straight-ish, kind of straight, I don't know. Go back to our paintbrush. I feel like there's something missing right here. It just kind of feels open. So let's add like a kind of like a whoosh mark. So I once had a professor in college. I went and got a degree in graphic design. 
Um, I had a professor in college who, anytime I would ask for advice on something, he would say to me, you know, Jesse, I don't know, it's just missing something. And I would be like, what is it missing? What does that mean? And he wouldn't be able to tell me. <laughs> so that's, and I'm, I'm kind of doing that to you right now. Uh, but I'm just playing with these anchor points real quick. Um, just kind of switching things up. Kind of cut those little bits down there. Let's see, I don't love how curved this one is, so we're gonna delete it. And I'm actually gonna copy this one right here and add it. But I'm going to flip it around, distort it a little bit. Just like this. Is that kind of awkward? That's kind of awkward. We're gonna hit this Pathfinder tool right here. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna unite all these, all these lines. So you see all these, kind of how it's like all crazy right there? Well, if we do that, it gets rid of all of those inside lines. It's a great little tool. Okay, so guys, this is it. This is what I'm gonna call Deathbed. This is a made up company that does street clothing. Let's go with street clothing. Okay, so Deathbed Street Clothing. Um, if you guys are interested in a part two, let me know in the comments down below. I feel like we should take this logo and put it on some streetwear clothing or some type of mock-ups or something so that you guys can see how my process is with that. And also we could do like a part three on how to properly uh, export the logo file and send them off to clients. Uh, please share this video with anyone you know who is a graphic designer who needs help with their branding or their logo designing. Um, if you learned something new, hey, comment down below. So many comments. Let's just comment it up. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.